So this will be a very short video showing you how to create your own materials inside Substance Painter in order to paint onto your models using tiling uh, texture maps. So I have three texture maps that I just made quickly in Photoshop from a downloaded texture just pulled off Google image search of some dirt. So what I've made is a base color, a height map, and a roughness map. So uh, not too much to see here. And I haven't done every single channel. So stuff like metallic, I'm just going to leave out. Normal, I'm going to leave out. I'm just going to use these three. So um, inside Substance Painter, the way to get this in is to go File, Import Resources. So add resources at the top here. I'm just going to pick from my desktop these three files that I was talking about. So here they are. I'm going to mark each of them as just straight up textures. And then I need to choose where they're going to go. So I can throw them into my project. So my project is the Substance Painter file that I'm working on right now. But I can also throw them to my shelf. Um, the advantage of shelf is that it's going to be across all your projects. It's local to your, your whole computer. So you can use this again. But if this is a texture that's only going to be relevant for the one painter file you're in right now, I would just stick to the project. So hit import, and now you can see these three files are here. So in order to make a material out of these, um, I like to start with a fill layer. So under this fill layer, uh, I'm just going to turn off normal because I'm not using that. I'm going to click on these channels and just pick the textures in them. So under base color, uh, I've just typed in T underscore dirt. So normally it's this. Uh, T underscore dirt filters the selections. Now I can see my base color and click it. You can see it on the bottle. Under height, I select the height. And under roughness, I select the roughness. And I don't want this to be metallic at all, so I'm just going to leave the slider at zero. Um, and I don't have a texture to go in here. And now we can see our texture on the model, right? So we can see the height is being picked up roughness, the base color, it's pretty good. Uh, if I wanted to make any adjustments, I could just change these textures in Photoshop and import them again. But in this case, I think I'm done. I'm going to set the defaults to let it um, scale a little bit. So it repeats once, I get a little bit more um, detail out of it. And now to create the actual material, here where it says material mode, right click and say create material preset. And here it is. Careful not to miss this. So it's going to come up as new material, which um, is not everybody's favorite name. It's certainly not mine. I'm just going to rename it to Dirt Custom. And there we go. So now that's a uh, another substance material that you can use, just like anything else in here available to you. And um, over time, as you create more of these, you can kind of expand your collection.